What's up, everybody? I'm Zoinkmeister Adam, joined by Zoinkmeister Patrick. Hello! And we're playing Infamous Second Son on the PS5. AKA the better for spoken. Seven years. I've kept them safe. Me. Me! Oh, don't do that. Not the government. Not the army. Because they kind of imply, if you like follow the full paper, tra paper trail, that like she understood what uh, Augustine was doing and she kind of agreed with it. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think that's like the point of the paper trail is you find out that she's actually like not opposed to the GP's mission. At Curtin K Station. Set them all free. But your ass I would. The world hasn't changed in the past seven years. Inside, the conduits are safe. They're alive. You turn them out, they'd all be dead inside a week. So tell me, who's the savior? And who's the monster? Oh, I'm the monster. We both have the same power. Only difference is, I've had seven years to practice. Ooh. Yeah, I have uh, this. I have nothing. I literally have nothing. Let me double check my... Uh, I can't get any power-ups yet, can I? Isn't it crazy? Hungry? Like, I mean, again, this whole... Wow. Yeah. Get him, get him, get him. Um, this whole game takes place over like a week or something, right? Oh, it's a damage reduction. That's actually kind of a cool upgrade for. Yeah, uh, but like, look at what she can do. Her and Eugene are by far like the most powerful conduits in the entire story. Yeah, no, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, fetch and uh, freaking what's his face? Uh, Hank. Hank. Their, their yeah. powers are shoot and run, and that's yeah. it. But like, look at this. Like her power is concrete. It doesn't make a concrete monster. Yeah. I think I I can't like use my power, so I think this is the one where you just kind of have to like avoid. Yeah, avoid. For you can a while. roll, right? Can you roll? No, I can't even roll. That's a. Oh yeah, yeah Yuji brings you. Uh, yeah, he brings the, the good, horrors, the goods. Hey Yuji. Yeah, I would love to see a fight between uh, Eugene Bonk. and um, Augustine. Augustine, yeah, I think that'd be interesting. Yeah, the only reason I could think Eugene wouldn't win is because I'd be like, oh, concrete's too hard for video to yeah, pierce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I mean, video is such an abstract power that you really could do anything like that to be like, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, who am I to argue? Because, like, they're trying to get you to defeat her with her own power, right? right. So, like, they kind of imply that, like, oh, her power is really defensive. It's really right. powerful. Oh. Uh, and, and that's what I was saying is one of the upgrades for... Um, boulder dash. Yeah, I think you're invincible while boulder dashing. I got hit with two missiles and did nothing. <laughs> boulder uh, dash. Uh, yeah, the other interesting thing about the power is that... Um, ooh, the, this is the only one where you get a defense upgrade. Oh, that I did get hit through, though. That's hard to tell because I don't have infinite boulder dash yet. Oh, wait, I should just... Why am I not fixing that? <laughs> and unlimited dash. There we go. Hooray. Problem solved. Um... Yeah, because this is the only one. You get a 20% defense boost. Yeah, see? I yeah, can you just got like, hit by like two missiles. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it seems oh, like he well, can't you got get... stepped on. The stepped yeah, on is probably like on is programmed probably, to be yeah, on. Yeah. I can't catch that. Oh, there it is. Um, so thematically with the story, right? Uh, there was an object. Uh, it was a core. It basically like went supernova. Okay. Uh, in whatever the city was. And some people got powers out of it. Okay. So uh, wasn't it just like New York or whatever, or Memphis or I don't. Um, remember. I don't know. That is a good question. It might be just New York. Something. I feel like it's like just that. New York. <laughs> um, let me see if I can uh, look that up real quick. <clears throat> I think I just have to waste all of my power before it gives me the next one, if I remember correctly. So this one's kind of the slowest because you you have to just like. Oh wait, let me, I keep forgetting I can just take my pants off. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> I'm so fast now. I'm twice as fast without all these pants. Oh man. If I took my boxes off, can you imagine how, how fast I'd be? <laughs> <laughs> no one would be able to catch me then. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm out of power. Oh, this is awkward. Oh, it's called Empire City, but it's located in New York State. Okay. So it is fictitious. They're probably like, ah, who cares? Empire City. It's definitely New York. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's like the um, the Gotham uh, Metropolis style. Yeah. Like, oh, it's not New York, but. <laughs> but also, we know yeah, Central City is in Chicago right. by any means. Uh, okay, double lift and then the triple lift. Heck yeah. You're so strong now. You can jump so high. Wow, that's really high. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Boulder dash. 
more like boulder gay. That doesn't work. More like <laughs> I'm going to give you a boulder rash. <laughs> I'm so rashy. <laughs> like she made herself into a manta. But you will now. be too. <laughs> <laughs> it burns when I pee. Like it's just, it's getting worse. <laughs> I need to use up all my stupid power, I think, in order to get out of here. So, uh, what was I saying? So oh, yeah, 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 you, you yeah. can so, block the edges of the stomp. You just can't block a direct stomp. So something happens, right? Core pops off. Everyone's like, what the hell was that? And the core bursts into a bunch of shards, right? And you can go collect those shards. Yeah. And then you find out that uh, in the blast, some people got powers. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and then... Um, Did they like inhale core dust or something? I'm not quite sure. They just like... It, I think it was like a... From the explosion, a wave came out. Okay. And I think people with a particular gene... I see. Uh, oh yeah, the conduit powers. Yeah. So. Uh, oh, I forgot to grab the power again. So you know. the main character of the first two games, Cole McGrath, uh, yeah. gets the power of electricity. Uh, is his power? But yeah. then he meets somebody. Uh, the main antagonist. I can't see uh, it. I think his name's Kessler. Okay. Uh, he's a he's an older gentleman, and he's really oh, powerful. Geez. And oh, you died. Yeah. He's yeah. really powerful, and he defeats you like like very easily. And he's like, man, you're really weak. Uh, yeah. And then um, you end up like licking your wounds. Your uh, your good buddy, who is basically just Elvis. Okay. Uh, you like little guy. He uh, you you and him as your support in your phone calls. Can uh, I get you to watch to see if I get new missiles? Because they just come back randomly. Uh, now. yeah, yeah. You have that one missile right now. Okay, thanks. Uh, so whatever you do your thing, but then uh. That the core thing ends up happening like again. Oh wow! So uh, yeah, whatever these objects are, I believe they like end up exploding. Oh, shoot. oh you shoot, landed shoot, like shoot. right into it. Yeah, that's gonna kill. Kill. Oh, I'm still alive. Kill. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Kill. Two. You have two uh, launches. Get me out of here. Uh. Yeah. So all these shards are like pieces of those explosions. Okay. So I know they like. Ooh. They like make it sound like they're big pieces, but they are not. I see. They're very small. Because it's like an orb, like it fits in your hand. Oh, okay. But the core relays are, are, are they just powered by sparks as well, or? Uh, they're like multiple, right? Oh, okay. Oh, I, once you blow yeah. them up, they like turn into a couple of different, well, not, I guess the core relays are different, but the, the mobile facilities yeah, are just yeah. like several shards. Oh, okay. So I'd assume it's something along those lines, but. Yeah, so normally there's like a limited amount of what, okay. like <laughs> these things Delson absorbed or whatever. At least thematically with the story, I believe. Okay, so it's it's, but there's only one orb as far as anyone knows. Um, I think there's multiple. It's very hard to understand. I, oh yeah, you said there's a second explosion, I guess. There, so. yeah, there's a second one, but then the second game gets crazy because then, uh, like a prophecy is foretold of a giant, like burning man conduit. Okay. And uh, burning man burning, conduit. Yeah, that was the. He's a giant fire guy. Okay. Like a giant fire guy. He is like the conduit. Gotcha. So and then again, that game has two endings. Right. Uh, like all the infamous do. And, uh, you know how the infamous do. One ending is that, like, the main character, like, gives his life so the Burning Man is, like, destroyed. And the other one is that, like, oh, oh I am the Burning Man. You know, it's just some nonsense <laughs> like that. I am. So, uh, or do you defeat the Burning Man? This is a little bit, if, if, whatever, whatever. There's clearly, the good ending is clearly the canonical one. Uh, yeah. But that giant red Burning Man is the antagonist of I say. the second game. Ooh. Whoa. So. Um, a bit of spoiler, but also the game's like pretty old. Yeah, so that's really your fault for not being more well informed. Yeah, you she's almost dead. Stupid idiot. Uh, I think I, I I did grab everything, right? I did. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So now, like, uh, the the thing that happens with the, the the big walk away, right, is whether or not the main character lives or dies. Um, I believe the the big thing is the moral question here along with you living and dying, is if you do a certain sequence, uh, it will cause the wave to blast out again. And oh. more people will get power. So the oh. big thing is like, oh, do we stay evil and we're the guys with the powers? I say. Or do we kill the monster and then like there's a second wave and new people have powers? I say. So that's why now suddenly there's so many more people with powers. Yeah. Ah! So then, okay, so then at the end of, hurts. when she's talking about her backstory, she got her powers from the... The second burst. The second Honestly, burst, okay. Come to Seattle with a plan to spread fear, panic, chaos. This is the evil ending. Oh my goodness. Hero. Her plan was soon shattered. 
Oh my god! <laughs> Fetch Eugene and me. I'm telling you, this would wow. be a good game. You take on yeah, him and his lieutenant. Controlled Seattle. Now it was our turn. Jeez. Who the hell was gonna stop us? Oh my goodness. Oh, and the hundreds of conduits Augustine had locked away at Curtin K Station. I'm gonna shake each and every one of their hands on their way, way out the door. door. I love so that. Many different powers, all in one place. But you can only use one at a time, and you can't use them at all until you've absorbed like several Ooh, core relays. You know what would be super cool? If, if like he absorbed the whole like core or something like that? If he did, if he, if he does absorb like a bunch of different powers and in the sequel game as a villain, every time you fight him, he has a different power. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be really crazy. Okay. Local heroes back home. There's my girl. Whoa, 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 slow down. What? Come back to save the day. The TV news showed everything. What do you mean everything? It showed everything. I killed them, Betty. I saw you kill dozens of innocent No, people. Betty, it was hundreds. It was hundreds. The TV did not show everything. Anything <laughs> stop me from getting back to you to, to save everybody. We're a comish. We take care of our own, right? Look at him. He looks evil. Where's Reggie? Hey, hey, take it easy. Take it easy. Where's Reggie? You have disgraced our people. You have disgraced our ancestors. They killed Reggie. You're not even commenting on that. And you have disgraced the memory of your brother. Oh, well, there it was. You are a comish no longer. Wow. I like the, like, ominous underlighting that Betty has going on. You, everybody else, will die without me. Or have you forgotten that? Oh my, do you see his neck is, like, spotty now? Yeah. And forgotten. And we will never forget. But, Betty, when I said you'll all die without me, I meant that you'll die with me. <laughs> <laughs> So here is the crazy, amazing ending. This is this is what makes the evil ending really the best ending. <laughs> That's right. We're gonna orbital drop our own family. He's gonna <laughs> dive bomb his grandmother. <laughs> And that's the end of the game. That's the end of the game. Oh man, I love the end. You die bomb your grandma. Did I did I tell you that came up at one point? No. When I was talking to somebody about grandma. Infamous Second Son. Yeah. And he's like, oh yeah, that's that game where you die bomb, bomb your grandma, grandma, right? And I was like, if you were the bad guy. <laughs> and he's like, oh yeah, like that was the biggest shocker. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh my god. So this is the credits. This is the part of the game where we always talk about what we would rate and review. This we did 100% complete like twice now, basically. Like um, separately and together. Yeah, apparently. separately and together. We've done this game so much. Uh, so I think it's safe to say we give this like a pretty official review. I mean, if we ever make like an official video, that that's happened a couple times. But we always do this review at the end of the game. The unofficial, but more official this time probably, review of Infamous Second Son. Infamous Second Son. Um, so what, are, what have you thought about what kind of what Zoinkmeister score you'd give this? So here's the thing, right? This game came out in what, 2014, 2015? 2014, I think we 2014. decided. 2014. Yeah. Um, for its time, this was the most beautiful game. Oh yeah. I Period. mean, even today it stands up. Like there's some textures that you look at and you're like, yeah, okay, 2014. But but I mean, as far as like the reflections off the water, and, yeah. and to be fair, this is the the 4K like update, right? So, yes. But this is still way before like ray tracing or anything like that. Like, you know, if you still pop this into an OG PS4, it will still look. Good. Yeah, it looks great, and the, this updated version looks even better, and it's pretty good. Yeah, it is really good, and um, uh, the main character is probably like the whole like, oh man, that guy sure is annoying. But then when you play the evil playthrough, it's like, I don't know, I kind of liked it more that he's like, like Delson being like a little bit of like a, a dicky kid, you know, and then like goes into the evilness, right? Yeah, it, it, like it works because like, in the good playthrough, it's like Delson, why are you being like this? Yeah. But in the evil playthrough, you're like, you know what? He kind of is like, I could see how he could go like a little evil with uh, because he's like so because there's so many times in the good playthrough where he makes comments like I'm going to kill them all <laughs> and yeah. they just don't do it. And, then and it's it like, just doesn't sound right. Yeah. Right? But perhaps that's the whole thing is that you're like the expectation being like, oh, 
you're supposed to play the good guy, but once you play both, you kind of get an understanding like, oh man, maybe Delson's just the bad guy, man. Right. And then even like Reggie's comments, like feel, I, I like Reggie as a character the whole game. Even I did like both Reg. He was a good guy. Um, Delson's the only one where you're like, this guy's really annoying like for the protagonist, but it's like, what if it's because he's not the protagonist? What if he's the antagonist? He's like, yeah, the villain of the next game sort of thing, you know? It's like, I don't know that we've been talking about that. I feel like that does kind of... It just rings a bell, right? right like it feels yeah. like something's being tinged off. Like I, I would look forward to an infamous four really yeah. really especially because you're also you talked about how like fetch and eugene kind of do have this vibe uh second son to life oh yeah yeah um it, this fetch and eugene also have this vibe of like they're not really like good guys either like you can like convert them to be good guys but well eugene's more i feel like eugene's kind of like could have been a good guy i mean the thing is right that they they were people who you know bad bad luck on the cards right right like something happened like outside of the conduit powers right um yeah like, you know, yeah, they have this curse, but I mean, Eugene was getting beat up and bullied at school and nobody was doing anything about it. Yeah, but and there he, is a comment that I think in, even in the good playthrough, um, when Eugene switches to He Who Remains, there's a comment Delson makes that's something like, like, dude, why are you so like mean when you're He Who Remains? <laughs> and it's, it is like in the evil playthrough, suddenly it's like, oh, you know, maybe because, yeah, maybe like yeah, his Delson's power makes like, him go. Yeah, you're doing it, man. Kill yeah, them yeah, all. Kill, yeah, so yeah. it's very different. I mean, fetch. Very traumatic, right? Where she accidentally yeah. kills her brother and now she's going around killing drug dealers. Yeah. Um, she was already doing really bad stuff. Like, yeah. that's bad. Like, yeah. you know, <laughs> drug dealers, they're bad. But, you know, everyone deserves, like, fair trial and stuff, right? Yeah. But these guys were getting murdered and they weren't getting murdered, like, regular, right? They were being left upside down with their bodies, like, horribly right. desecrated. Yeah. So it's like, these things are not good. Um, yeah, and this... Eugene, Eugene was trying to be a hero, though, right? He was, right. like, he was taking... Uh, uh, conduits, suspected conduits out of the buses. Yeah, and trying to save them and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, so he was, like, if anyone was to turn out, if, if the sequel game was to come out and Delson's the bad guy, I would assume that once you beat Eugene, it would be one of those, like, Eugene, you know, you're not evil, man. Right, you yeah. You just got played some bad cards. Delson got in your head when you were a kid. Yeah. Um, I could totally see that happening. Like, at, the, at this point, it's just my fanfic. But, <laughs> you know, I, yeah. I, I definitely see, like, the, the evil playthrough being the more I right. guess because like the, yeah because I mean now that we're, we've talked about it it's like so yeah so many things that happen feel like um, like it leans towards the evil playthrough a little better with the way the story works uh, even if it is like comedically evil um, I don't know it, it kind of works out so I feel like yeah the evil playthrough of this game I feel like would make for a really interesting sequel where you have to then like fight against all of these people and like now it's like if this was a villain origin story I think it, it kind of it is like a more fun story in that way so do we have a score for it, though? Oh, man. You know, the thing is, I really like this game. Uh-huh. And, you know, we've platinumed it multiple times. <laughs> yeah, at this point, And yeah. we've platinumed the DLC expansion, First Light. And yes. I feel that that's not on accident. Right. The game's really good. Yeah, we, we've definitely... Yeah, both of us have platinum First Light. Both of us have platinum this game twice now if you count like this like secondary playthrough basically of just doing it all again um so i it so yeah it's hard this game i looked up i was not on my top 20 games list uh or it isn't right now i don't think it's ever been i don't think it was there for the videos either but it's one of those things where like like this feels like my like 21st you know it's like, yeah it's like, no it's I'm definitely surprised i always love this game i always like talk this game up but i don't actually have it listed anywhere it's like one of my favorites this style of game is I feel like, like, you know, I loved Prototype 2 and I platinum that twice. Yeah. I love this game and it's like little mini sequel and I platinum those. And it's just like, I, it's not an accident. These games are good. And I, in my opinion, deserves an A minus. Okay. That, you know, I've been between an A minus and a B plus um, for, I've been thinking about this for a while. Uh, and the, the main reason that I drop it down to a B plus is just because there's certain controls that like you guys won't be able to, feel watching the videos and feel the game yeah and there's certain things that like not all of it holds up super well in terms of like you just want to like the buttons to work and <laughs> sometimes it just doesn't feel like things are working the way you expect them to um but i i do i do really like the like the story the way that it's presented with like the two different stories and like how they're connected and the, like all the powers are are pretty interesting. There's a lot of things I wish they explained more. Like I've been complaining about the whole time with like how do the cores work and like why does he have to absorb like this many and then he stops and then 
Like, what happened if he absorbs more? What if he absorbed less? I, I, well, we know what happened if he absorbed less. I guess he'd have less powers, but could he get more power? Like, it's just, I, I wish they'd given us a little bit more for how short the game is. I feel like this game could have easily been like a little longer and just a little more explanation of like what the heck is happening. <laughs> but um, it still was really good. Uh, Augustine is such a great villain in terms of just like raw evil, like <laughs> you want to kill her so bad. Yeah, she does a really <laughs> good job of like, man, she's not... She's not horrifically bad. Like, she's not, like, cutting people's heads off, right? Yeah. But, like, she definitely is very close to it. I mean, she <laughs> kills the Akomish people by, like, by slowly, like, she concretes their legs and then doesn't fix it. And, like, they make it very clear that, like, unless somebody fixes it, they will die slowly and painfully. Um. So it should be noted that there is a comic book for the infamous world. So okay. all of this could be easily explained and we just don't know. That's fair. Um. There are six issues released from March... Uh, through August back in 2011. So there could be some like explanation in there as to some of the, the lore that we just don't know. Right. But also, this game does have like extra stuff. Like I didn't play Paper Trail. Um, yeah. And another major complaint I have about this is the side objectives in this game. I feel like what do they what do they do for you? Like here, like I'm going to let me read this real quick and then I'll cancel out uh, and we'll talk about this. Congratulations. Your destruction of Augustine, the GP have spread terror throughout the city and shown conduits how to take what is rightfully theirs, beginning with fetching Eugene. You chose the path of infamy, but you are curious about what you missed, what potent powers, heroic deeds and good influence you might have enjoyed. You could always start again and try a different way. We, we did. This is like the fourth time starting. In <laughs> <laughs> uh, but first, cremate your victory by completely driving the UP out of Seattle. Don't rest until every district in the city is free and you've collected every precious flash drive. Why though? Like, I, I get, like, for story reasons why it matters, but for non-story reasons, like, could you tell me one good re Like, okay, for example, the cameras are a little fun, right? It's like a little, it's a little puzzle yeah, challenge. Yeah, it's a little puzzle. The, the, the files tell the us... The files give you story, backstory. Yeah, they tell why you how I, bad Augustine really why is. Why would I do these agents, secret agents? What is the advantage to those? Uh, because they're, like, an undercover, right? They're trying to report back to Augustine. They're just, but like you're me supposed as to a, clear the area. Like, right. oh, there's still a secret agent right. undercover somewhere in this district. But it's, is it fun? Is it, like... No. Is it adding anything to the game? If these secret agents were not in this game, would you rate this game any lower? <laughs> like, no, but I mean, they're so like... It just feels like they threw in junk for the sake of throwing in junk. Like, the sensor art looks pretty, and you can do it for, like, your own self-enjoyment of, like, that's pretty art, right? The cameras are like, that, that's a fun little challenge. I'll admit, I like those. And then the these actually give you story. Like, these are, the, I feel like, the only, for, like actual side objective that is like worth doing for the sake of like actually knowing what's going you know, on. It would have been really cool if after you uh, you defeated one of these guys like you oh a, a, a file was recovered from the person yeah, that had like literally more... anything right like the secret agents are such a nothing burger of a like side objective that's like yeah do this extra thing because we felt like there wasn't enough junk for you to do <laughs> like yeah you don't get anything out of it you don't get any powers out of it you don't get any story out of it you it's not even fun they're like the least <laughs> fun side objective it's just by for far. the district yeah yeah they're so bad so i mean that that'd probably be the only thing i would change um yeah and so that that's my biggest one that's why i was between like i said an a minus and a b plus because i was thinking we gave um spider-man uh a, a minus yeah but again spider-man has like an extra four years on this game right and and that is part of it, it you know if we're rating it for the time at the time that i played this this game was like I mean, it's to this day, I've not seen anything do better particle effects than not that. that, that uh, that's the other thing. The concrete power sucks. The post-game content is uh, terrible. That is weird. That is weird that they give you this power that it is, it's, it's cool that you have the extra power, but you'd assume that you'd be in God mode or something yeah, like at if, the end of the game. If they made this like concrete power, like actually um, like something really cool to work with, like even, yeah, luckily you can go pretty high, which is- Yeah, it, jumping's it, super cool. Yeah. But um, it's the like, dash is all right. You don't even get a uh, uh, ultimate with it. Whatever you can't. Yeah, do your... you don't get an ultimate, which I feel like is like a we're out of time thing. Right, and it's just like yeah, so much of this game kind of feels like it's just like they threw a couple things together at the last minute because it's so short. The story's so short. And I think it's a nice, sweet story. Like I, I don't typically complain about games being short because I don't have time to play games that are long. <laughs> like I enjoy <laughs> short games, um, but there were some things in this game where it's like, I wonder how much of this was like rush for time type of stuff. That's that's my only thing. But this particle effect still looks amazing. Whoever worked on that. Um, oh, yeah. All the praise. particle effects. I've never seen any dash uh, that looks nearly this good. In sometimes I just like looking at me dash around with, with, with neon. Like, just, yeah. I just oh, like yeah. to, I'm not even going anywhere. I just yeah. like the way it looks. No, to this day, the, the abilities, like looks of the dashes are incredible. Like this effect is it looks so cool. It's so, the, so mesmerizing. Uh, Flash is my favorite um, comic book hero ever. 
And after I saw, I, everyone's always like, you know, oh, how would you make Flash look good in, in not the comics, right? Yeah. Where you just like show him there and then you show him somewhere else and that's how they get that across. But that doesn't right. really work out too well when you translate it over, right? Like how you said like, oh yeah, in that Superman game. Right. Going too fast is like crazy. Yeah, going fast is... I, we need to play that demo on the channel at some point. That game is crazy. Yeah. Like, you have super speed. <laughs> they did it the worst possible way. So if way. they did it like this, or it looks like this, but everyone's frozen in yeah, time or, while yeah. you're doing or it. Or like super slow-mo or something like that. Yeah, I that think would be could super easily... cool. And I, I had never even thought about how that could be done until this game, right? Yeah. Like they showed me like, no, there are other ways to do dashes. And then on top of that, there are other ways to do powers. Neon, right. video, concrete, smoke. Those are, like, not powers people think about. Yeah, smoke power. Yeah, all of those. No, yeah, totally. Yeah, if someone's power is, like, neon, it's, like, you assume, like, Jubilee from the X-Men, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> That's, like, like fireworks like, power, but Exactly, still. but, like, what does that mean, right? And right. then once you, once you play this game, you're like, oh, okay, now I totally, like, that makes sense, kind of. Yeah. I mean, video is still very vague. Yeah, it works. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and then the, just seeing the stuff that people can do with it, right? Like, Augustine is really powerful. Like, if I right. had concrete powers, I'd be like, yeah, I'm just going to do the juggernaut, right? Cover myself yeah. and run forward, which right. you can do. Yeah. But um, she's right. making, like, giant bugs and snakes and manta rays out of her concrete. Right. So it's it's just, like, crazy. Like, I feel like this game does a lot of the walking so that future third-person action hero games can, like, sprint. Right. And that's the thing. As far as, like, yeah, a third-person, like, superhero game goes, like, this game puts in a lot of work in the ways that, like, as cool as, like, prototype is... Um, all of your powers are like overpowered biomass shenanigans, right? Like, oh yeah, <laughs> like, every like, single attack oh is like, oh goodness, how is anyone supposed to get out of this? There is, um, if you play Prototype Two, uh, at one point there is an upgrade you can get that makes it so that you are bulletproof, and that makes it so that small arms fire just cannot affect you, and yeah. it changes the entirety of the game. Like, like all the times we get like close to health, like dying in this game, is because we're getting shot from small arms from every direction. Yeah, but in like, and then you get another one where it ricochets off you and kills them. <laughs> yeah, that's... so it's like okay, I, without even offensively now, you can walk into a group and they just start dying. Um, and then you get upgrades to like, oh, you know, tanks and helicopters used to be a problem, and then you get an auto finisher to just like run up to it and rip its like top off and then throw it at something else. Oh jeez! And it, it's just like by the by the middle of that game, you become super powerful to the point where the only other threats are the other people with powers. Uh but then you like literally, and not metaphorically, like literally rip their heads off and like eat them uh, and like absorb more powers. And that one is even less vague, right? Like, mm, I ate another baddie. Let's <laughs> yeah. see what powers I got. Like is literally how you just get powers. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's cool, but this one feels a lot more like realistic, right? Like if you're still the flash and you got shot with a bullet, like it should still like do a lot of damage. Right. Right, and that's the thing, is is this game definitely gives more of that, like, you, you feel like, like, it feels like they did more with what they had. Like, even though that game's, like, absolutely a power fantasy, like, mega trip, this game feels more like, they're like, oh, how do we make something that feels like, like, any superhero game could be this good? If, <laughs> like, if people just put in the work. Yeah, no, Infamous um, Second Son is definitely, like, a good platform for others to have inspiration. Yeah, and so, yeah, so that's the thing, is, like, I don't know, so I feel like there's tons and tons and tons of things this game did not do well as, as I was saying it's like there's just I have all kinds of minor kind of gripes with it which is why I was leaning towards the B plus just in terms of like it's like I just got so frustrated with so many random little things like I said like the concrete power like being such a bore of a power at the end and like just being worse than every other power in the game um, like objectively it, it, you know that sort of stuff but it's like it's like ah, it feels like if this game had like I don't know maybe like six more months or something like that I feel like it could have been like like easily a material for me like it's just so much that it does so well um so that's why i had such a hard time between the like b plus a minus um sort of category but i will say like you said this is the sort of game that a lot of that stuff that's bad is easily forgettable if that makes sense yeah like when we came back to it if you'd asked me like oh like what's a bad thing about infamous i probably couldn't have listed one thing for second son like before we started playing again because it, it's been what like six years or been more a bit, yeah probably long it's been like eight years since i played this game last uh because i played it right when it came out i, I got it like day one because i always wanted an infamous game and i never had the past ones and so i was like yeah if you'd ask me like oh like what do you not like about this game i'd be like nothing this game's so amazing yeah uh, i don't know why it's not on my but now i know why it's not in my top 20 list now that i played <laughs> it again i'm like yeah there's like all kinds of little things it's like mm, no it's a little mm. so yeah i think i think a minus is a fair 
assessment. I think I'm with you. Yeah, I, I'm even with you. I think you. a lot of it, though, is that, like, right now, for me, it's a bit of a B plus, but um, give, give me a week. And <laughs> I, I'll probably be like, no, that's, I mean, that's an easy A minus. My main gripe was always... Uh, because they could have just not given you concrete, right? Yeah. Like, you could have used it, and then it could have been that thing. But then there would like, be nothing at the end of the game. Like, that's a, the one thing that it's like... Because there's no completion bonus either. If you do everything in this game, you get nothing for it. Nothing. Uh, that's um, the thing. is like, yeah, that's... Oh. I think a jacket, right? Did you get a jacket or something? I don't even know. Do you even get that? I, that's what I'm saying. It's like, they they it, they do such a bare minimum job. Yeah, it would have been stuff. really cool if at the end of the game, like, you just don't need to recharge anymore. You get unlimited everything. Oh, yeah. Like, and, that would have been yeah, really cool. Literally uh, anything. Yeah, I mean, you, okay, that, to be fair, I guess you do technically get jackets for, if you do all these random side objectives that are pointless, then it unlocks the district showdown. And if you do the district showdown, then you get the fast travel. And along with the fast travel, you get the jacket. But you don't have to do everything like this. I can do this district showdown. I can do all of, not all of these. I can do this one and this one and this one and this one all without ever touching like so many of these side objectives, right? So it's like, what do the side objectives really give us then? Fast travel. That's the thing, you can do them <laughs> even without, like I said, like this one, I can get fast travel right here, right now without ever touching this secret agent. That is true. Why would I do this secret agent? <laughs> yeah, it would have been really cool if there was, you know what would be really cool? I'm going to go do um, a good thing because it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, if they had a file or something that, that, like that that was dropped. But if you like, oh, all the agents were defeated, you can now wear like a fetch costume or something like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it, this game just feels like it need needs like like six more months to like nothing big. It, it's all just stuff like just thinking of like, what can we do to make this game like good, like good, good. Um, and not just like, like this game's already good, but like, you know, this game could easily be a 10 out of 10 sort you know, of game. The crazy part is I wouldn't be surprised if this was already delayed because this game came out so close to the PlayStation 4's release Yeah. that it was probably slated to be a release Yeah. and then didn't make it. So they were like, hey, we can't delay this anymore. Yeah. Um, Cause we we're trying to get that like PlayStation 4 opening, opening gambit. And they did a really good job. Again, this is a PS4 like 2014, early 2014 game. It was really good. I'm sticking with my A, mostly because my main complaint is that uh, Delson's really unlikable and I just don't like him. But now that we've played the evil playthrough, like, you know, you I don't know. It's it. like, you know what? Yeah, maybe he's just the bad guy of the next right. game. Like, maybe that's the setup. And then, like, you know, maybe his annoying is fine. It's like, it's not by accident and it's not right. like a bad, like, design decision. Yeah, that's the thing. And yeah, I feel like that is part of it. I, I do kind of wonder if um, I could like <laughs> like this game even more if we did get that next game and I like saw how it's set up sort of thing. It's like, it's hard to describe. I feel like, uh, you know, it's like I can appreciate certain like ah, it, it's it's like I, I'm saying like the opposite effect of um, like Star Wars Episode 7. If, if you remember that movie. Uh, <laughs> I, I do. Yeah. I when episode seven came out, a lot of people were like, oh, like that was good. Um, but also like nothing happened. It was just episode four. Uh, so like whether or not we call this good in the long run is like really going to depend on episode eight. And then episode <laughs> eight was bad. And it was like, yeah, OK, now seven started to look bad, too, because it like just did nothing. And then eight like just made it worse. Oh, man. The <laughs> funny like, thing is, uh, I believe episode okay. seven has the second highest reviews of the entire series right after five, I think. Yeah, well, because it's just a better four, I think, for a lot of people. They're like, four is not great, and so seven did it again, but better. It's like a remake of four, basically. <laughs> and so I don't know. It's That's how I kind of feel about this game. Like, I feel like this game could easily be, um, like, I feel like I could, like, turn up my review of it if the next game, like, really capitalized on what this built. And it was like, oh, wow. It's like, yeah, that game actually did a lot of things that ended up, like, being not just good as a game, but good as a series. Uh, <laughs> Why, why were you aiming at that gentleman? I thought he was a DUP, but then he didn't light up, and so. Don't kill me. <laughs> well, no, I honestly thought there's a drug bus like somewhere here. Apparently not that guy, but he looked like a drug head to me, you know. <laughs> anyway, so that's that's our opinions of the game. I'll, I'll go uh, officially. I'll give this game an A minus too, just for, for solidarity. And, um, see, none of these guys are druggies. No, they're just hanging out, bro. Okay, why are you <laughs> hanging out in a parking lot in like, my city? In my city, <laughs> I'm Deli Boy. This is my city. It's, you know what else would be really cool for this game, like post credits, is if random civilians just attacked you now, like they did at the end. Oh, that would be cool. Like if these guys saw you and they're like, oh, that's Delson, get them. What and if they they've started, accepted like, you, you as their, like, their destroyer though? <laughs> and they're like, well, I, I saw him literally turn Augustine, who then was a known, that. very powerful person into a rock and then throw her off a skyscraper and blow up. That's what I'm saying. Give me that. Make them bow down then. Something. That's what I'm saying. Like, this game just needs a little, like, it, it doesn't have those, like, I don't know what to call them, like, valve 
touches, maybe. You know, like Valve video games, like they do stuff that's like, if that wasn't in there, or Rockstar. Rockstar also kind of does this. Oh, like environmental storytelling? Yeah, they do like little, little, little things. Oh, look, look, they're running. They're, 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 they're running. Hey, what can I get you? I think they're running because of the drug guys, honestly, because I think I did finally find the, you no, I didn't. So? No, no. Yeah, no, I think it was just you. Maybe, yeah. So that's the thing. It's, it's those little like environmental bits that I feel like this is, like well, there for, they are because Val, valve it's the thing with like um left for dead 2 or, or and also like half-life where the way they designed it is they had it like play tested like every two weeks of the game's development they had someone come in and play test and be like see how they're playing it to, like change the game to make it actually play well if that makes sense although this game plays pretty well so i don't know if that's quite the problem it's more like yeah it needs a rock star approach of um it just needs like little like you know it's like the game should have more coherence i feel like uh and i'm all of these suggestions i'm making i'm not saying like i need all of them or it's bad well they, i'm just like listing like how many things it feels like are you missing. should play ghost of tsushima because they definitely did a really good job with that game yeah I, and I, I i want to i mean this game was good enough that like it's not like i've lost any faith in you know uh drug bus uh sucker punch's ability to make games the next game sucker punch makes i'll be all four you know it's like Ghost of Tsushima, the only reason I haven't played it yet is because it's not on PC, and, and that's it. <laughs> so I want to experience it, and especially because of how pretty this game looks. It's like, oh, I know that game's going to look very good. Um, it so probably wanna... won't come out on PC until the Ghost of Tsushima 2 is announced for probably. PS5. Yeah, I, I would have to imagine. But it's like, I want to experience that game in all of its, because the trailers for that game were beautiful with the uh, like Sakura petals falling and stuff like that. Oh, man, they it's like they do such a good job. Like even the, the passive stuff like uh, in that game, you can just go find a nice uh, uh, area over some water and write some haiku. <laughs> and uh, they're like, th that's a side objective. Oh, wow. They're like everywhere. There, there are like 10 of them, I think, throughout like the whole game. And you just sit down and write some haiku. That's See, that's the thing. That's what I'm talking about. It's like, it's nice to have little objectives like that that are like, like I like the art objective in this game. That's a good side objective to me. Also no spoiler, but there is also a morality system. Oh, like it's very clearly okay. uh, like a, uh, Sucker punches, like yeah. it's, it's an infamous style, where like your third person action and your sequences have a morale. Yeah, uh, if you do things, but it's instead of uh, being like good or bad, it's more of an honor versus dishonor. Oh, I see. So like, oh, the honorable thing to do is to like meet them in the courtyard and both you draw swords. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, where the dishonorable thing to do is like to sneak up when he's sleeping and like cut his head off. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So that, that's I think that's our opinions about this game for the most part. Do you have anything else you want to add before we? Mm, really want Infamous on. Four. That's all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and I no disagreement, man. This game is 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 definitely by far good enough to make me want more Infamous. Um, it is a really fun experience. I highly recommend for anybody. And yeah, if the Zoic Meister were a recommendation system, I'd give it a full recommend. Um, it is that is independent <laughs> of my like. Well, let's just say I like I. Yeah, the A minus to B plus. Like this game's like an A in terms of recommendation. I feel like. Whereas like, it has its problems, but it's absolutely worth playing for the sake of just experiencing, because um, it is it is really cool. So, yeah, A minus I think is fine. It's a good it's a good medium. A minus official Swinkmeister score. Yeah, yeah 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 yeah. All right, I think that's it. We'll never touch this game ever again, and uh, yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> you'll see us in the next one. <laughs> what are we gonna play next? What could happen? Who, Who knows? Know? On the next episode of Zwank Ball Z. Can I shoot behind me? Probably. But what does it look like when I... Oh, wow, he can turn really far. Yeah, well, <laughs> I want to, like... It makes it look, like, normal. Man, his Adam's apple looks huge from this angle. Yeah. It's gigantic. It's your apple. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're, we're done for real. All right. Bye! Bye! Swing out! Forever! <laughs>